One of the most important things about a batsman is his or her setup. Now, I'm not talking about an experienced player's setup. I'm talking about a cricketer who's 11 years old, 12 years old, his setup or her setup at the start of his career. How we want it, later it might evolve, but there has to be a starting point, right? This is almost very similar to writing English. There have to be certain fundamentals in place, like if I write I, I have to write am, shall, will. I cannot write I is or I are. So these are certain fundamentals which are not negotiable. Later down the line, it becomes the style of the player. He or she can play around with it according to their feel, adjustment, and experience, but not at the starting point. It's a non-negotiable. So at that point, where we go is your toes in line, very simple, bat resting on front thigh, and the bottom hand loose. Bottom hand not choking, bottom hand loose, bat resting front thigh, eyes level, toes in line. Now, we were all taught to open our toes slightly, and so we all, mostly in India, we keep it like this. Why? Because most runs in cricket are scored on the leg side. If my toe points like that, then I'm emailing, texting, faxing the bowler that I'll be struggling with bolts on middle and leg line. So it's really important that when I'm in my stance, I open this toe slightly, which helps me to play bowls on middle and leg because I can easily open the toe. At the same time, when I'm playing bowls on off thumb, I can open the toe, so the toe points where the ball is going to go or where I want to hit the ball. I don't want to land my toe like this because that means my weight is going to go that way and not into the ball. So it's really important to get this set up right. Now, I see a lot of this. Now, where's your weight? Your weight is on your heels. Where do you know is your off stump? You don't know. Okay. Stances like this. Where is most bowlers, where are they running into ball? Top of off stump. So 80% of the bowling I'm gonna get is around here. So why am I standing like this and making this part difficult? No reason. So, it's really important that I get this basic setup right. Okay, toes in line, this one slightly open, because if I keep this lock, this is what you're gonna see with the kid. So, at ball release, he or she is going to do this, because his or her body is saying, I can't see. So they will twist, and the moment you twist, everything is gone. The other thing, if I see these weird stances and I get it all the time, oh, this is how they play nonsense, I ask that cricketer, right, I'm batting here, can you go and stand at slip? And they do. So then my question is, at first slip, how would you stand? And they will go there. So then I say to them, so why did you go there? Why aren't you just standing there? So they say, Oh, for the ball that is low, high to the side. I said, fantastic. So then who has told you that at 11 years old, Jofra Archer is running into ball and bowling you here, or Bumrah is coming and bowling you halfway down the track to hit you on the head? No one. So what, what's the majority of the balls you're gonna get is around here. So why are you getting the percentages against you by standing like this? You don't know where your off stump is. You don't, your weight is going through your heels. You have no base, no balance. Why are you standing like that? I have no idea, but at our place, it's mandatory that you have a proper setup. If you don't, the door is open, off you go.
Lovely shot. I'll go here. Press it here. Now my off right eye is on off stump. My weight is on the balls of the feet. My front toe is turned, so I'm looking to get into the ball. Also, there is another thing to it. If I stand like this, my shoulder is pointing at the stumps at the non-striker end, okay? When the bowler releases the ball from right arm over, and I go towards the ball, whether it's front foot or back foot, my shoulder turns in line with the ball. So that means my back is going to come down on the right path. Now, if I stand like this, my shoulders are pointing at widish mid on mid wicket. So at the point of ball release, if I go here, it has gone towards mid on. So my back is gonna come on a completely different plane to the actual ball. So why do I want to do that? There are certain fundamentals which are non-negotiable. We need to stick to those, make sure they are followed by the people we coach, and once they have those fundamentals in place, they can build their own style. They cannot negotiate with fundamentals. Two plus two will not become 20 just because someone has said that that is more entertaining or he has found a new way of doing maths. Two plus two will stay four till the end of the world. Similarly, I am, I shall, I will, will have to be written. I is, I are, will not be written. Once that fundamental is in place, and the person is able to write in English, he or she can go and write an essay in their own style. But the fundamentals have to be followed. The other reason you do not want to activate your top hand too early is for youngsters. That is their weak hand. And if you activate the top hand too early, but by not having support on, from your front thigh, then the bottom hand comes into play too early.